in June. No, thank you very much. Frank Farina there, former Socceroos coach, uh, now in charge of the under-20 Fijian side, and they are World Cup bound. Uh, the tournament kicks off on the last day of May. Yeah, it is with the host in, in, in action. First up in early June, uh, Fiji take on Germany, and then they will also play Uzbekistan and Honduras in the background. As Frank suggested, uh, any sort of result against any one of those teams would be a massive achievement for the young Fijians. It'd be nice to think that the fans back home would support the team, but keep their expectations in proportion, shall we say. Now, it's taken six years of hard work, but top-level netball is back in Fiji with the first round of Super League matches to be played this weekend. The competition will feature the clubs that occupied the top spots in the Fijian Championship last August. The president of Netball Fiji, Okiti Bogadrao, says the best of each club's premier under-21 and development players will join forces with current international players to form six new teams. What we've done is we've taken the best from all three teams and put them into just one team and then infuse these teams with the members of our national squad. So what we have is three teams that are from the west, including one of those teams being from the interior, likewise one team from the capital, and one team that is at the outskirts of the capital, but with a big population, and there's a, another team that is from the central division. So we've got the western, central, and eastern division very much represented. And what about venues? Will each team have their own home venue and the opportunity to build up a home fan base? That's something that we, we We'll work to it, but for now the game is on a home and away series, so uh, we will get five teams travelling. We will be keeping a few of the venues to have the weekend competition. And this first season of the New Look Super League, how many matches will each team play, and then will it be a case of the team with the most points wins at the end, or will you have a final series? We've got a ranking game. We've taken into account the harsh weather conditions and the fact that the ranking games will be played outdoors. Each team should play three games and depending on their finishing then we would rank each team so there'll be no uh, as it were playoffs at the end of this first season we we'll pull them into two pools of three and we do, we'll just get them to play each other and the those that come up chopping two we just play each other and the second will play each other and the coming back so the one to six basic how far do you think that it could be expanded in future years? We just hope that from this competition that we will have other associations vying for better results so that they can be included into the league. And we are looking at uh, a general lift in the standards of the game. Apart from that, we are mindful of the fact that we really need to build capacity around coaches, around managers, and around our technical officials, the umpires and bench officials. And all.